We are going to talk about that really funny play that opened in Pittsburgh last night. It's the play that went wrong, and believe me, just about everything does. The play is making its national debut in Pittsburgh, and as I said, I got to see it on opening night at the Benetton Center last night. Now, we can't give too much away about what happens, but I'm excited to talk with the show's producer, Kevin McCollum, and one of the stars of the show, Peyton Cribb. Welcome, gentlemen. It's great to be here. Thank Come you, on. Heather. So glad to have you here. I cannot say enough good things about this play. I mean, we were laughing from the onset. Well, I think we, uh, we make wrong very right. Uh, <laughs> one thing you can tell your audiences is, is anything you think that possibly could go wrong in, in a production probably does, but it also is what makes it so much fun because it's truly a show that you can bring everyone to. It's why I fell in love with it and I brought it over from London and we've been running almost two years on Broadway and when we decided how do we get it on the road, we wanted to come to Pittsburgh because it's a great audience, great cultural tradition here and uh, we couldn't be more excited. And this is a massive tour and you're starting here in Pittsburgh, which is so cool. It is, and, and, and uh, even though I missed three flights yesterday because of the rain, I got here <laughs> and, uh, and uh, the show was terrific. So. Well, it, it, that's perfect though because it fits right in line with the play, correct? Exactly, it, <laughs> I, I, I was at the airport that went wrong, which is often in, in our world today. So so Peyton, can you tell us about your character and maybe a bit about the storyline? Uh, sure. So I play the character Robert Grove, who is an actor with the Cornell University Drama Society. And we are touring the country now, putting on the murder at Haversham Manor. Uh, and we are just so excited to try and put the show on for everybody. But basically, every single actor's nightmare happens. So, so it's a play about a play. It's it, a play about a play. And I think what's, what's great about it is that especially right now, the need to laugh, the need to escape. Right. And it's sort of like man against elements, you know? And, and, and so they imagine, you know, where you're coming into the Benetton Center, they haven't worked with the crew, but they just arrived in a cultural exchange program, uh, and all of a sudden, everyone's trying to figure out how this play works in front of you. And it's, again, it's just, it's just that's the magic, is the joy and the laughter of the show. Well, what's really, really interesting, and funny is that before the play even gets started, the audience is very engaged with the crew as they're trying to get set up and ready for the play. We're running a little late and, and, <laughs> and we, without giving too much away, you know, it is great to have audience there. Get there a little earlier, like don't get there right at curtain. Get there, come in 10, 15 minutes early and there's a lot of surprises. Yeah, yeah you know, you know, Something might happen if you're in the audience right. to you. So <laughs> don't sit in the danger zone. <laughs> all the I don't know where that is. I don't know if you target the we same We won't tell spot. you. We won't. <laughs> no, but there's no, there's no uh, inappropriate, like, oh, cringy audience participation. But we find people, we can look by their faces, who wants to kind of play with us and uh, and things They're happen. They're very ready to play. They're yeah, it's a lot of fun. To play. Um, so everything that goes wrong goes wrong. Everything that can go wrong, but there's some physical humor and I have to ask, does anybody ever really get hurt? Let's say we can't get insurance. Okay. That we just can't <laughs> get insurance. I think yeah. no. No, actually it's all it's like it's like they're all athletes, you know. Uh, it's and the first time anyone's ever said that. <laughs> <laughs> You're no, but there are some there are some um, physical things that happen um, uh, that that are truly just surprising and fun. So you have to be in great shape. Yeah, I've I've discovered things about my ability that I never knew. <laughs> that you could catch it right in the first <laughs> act. I mean, you, so yeah, come come see the rest of it, and you'll see some. Very athletic <laughs> and incredible An feats. adjective that's never been used for you. You have a booming voice, too. I mean, you have such a presence on stage, I have to say. Thank you. Yeah, you're nothing like on the couch right now. No. <laughs> you're very subdued. No, I try and contain it in. You do. <laughs> can we, can we hear a line from the play, if you don't mind? Because you have um, a British accent, too. Oh, sure. Uh, let's see. What do I say? Um, Charlie, <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> We're all waiting outside to raise a glass to your engagement. <laughs> and that's basically one of the opening lines. That is right? one of the opening lines. Yeah, yeah. right, no, yeah. no, that's perfect. That's perfect. <laughs> and then he tries to get through the door, and then the rest happens. Yeah. Well, and we have to talk about a bit about your career because it is just amazing the works that you've done. I mean, you've done, where did I have my list? I have this full list uh, of I'll all tell the you things. If you okay, want. Good. <laughs> you've done well, Avenue Q, Rent, Something Rotten, Motown. I mean, there's just a long list of things that you've done. I typically do original musicals, mm -hmm. and why I fell in love with this play is this play acts like a musical. Yeah. There's so many highs and lows, and, and he jokes, but truly, you know, you might like tap dancing, or you might 
just love uh, the Marx Brothers. And that's the other thing. This, uh, you know, I'm I'm 56, but there's a lot of people who've never seen physical comedy live. Right. And that's sort of the the, the special effect of this. And belly laughs. You know, as I say, we're we're saving America one belly laugh at a time. <laughs> and that's why we're going around the country right now. And it's it's really working because it's like a musical. And the audience, they just leapt to their feet last night. So it's that kind of reaction. And you don't expect it because you don't get a lot of plays that tour unless they've won a Tony Award. But this just wins your heart. And that's why we're taking it on the road uh, for about a couple of years. And we're starting here. Maybe we'll come back. I, it's a great way to describe it. And I don't know why we enjoy seeing people get hurt, but we do. Because <laughs> they really don't. Because <laughs> they really don't, right? Right, and we really don't. You really, really. Well, I mean, you're damaged, but you're no. not hurt. Right? But you're not hurt. Yes. And I, honestly, everyone was laughing, holding their gut, even crying. I was crying at times. I was laughing so it, hard. So it's, well hard it's hard for people to believe, but truly, when you gather in the dark with strangers and you laugh together, you truly leave as a family, and yeah. that's the great thing about theater. Well, thank you both for doing that for us last night, and you will continue doing it through the week. Again, the Pittsburgh Cultural Trust and PNC Broadway and Pittsburgh series presents The Play That Goes Wrong at the Benham Center now through Sunday. Go see this play. For showtimes and tickets, call the box office or go online.